my wonderful mom. <laughs> <laughs> Say where you're from. Uh, today I'm going to film something a little different. Not that I have that many videos on my YouTube anyway, but we are going to film a how to make dumplings video. If you don't know, a lot of you do, but if you don't know, my mom is from China, so I am half Chinese, and she's very good at making Chinese food, and one of her specialties is Chinese dumplings. So I have never really been very good at making them myself, but with my mom's guidance, maybe I'll be able to make one, one successful one. Uh, we are going to make vegetarian dumplings. She makes everything herself, the filling, the dough, everything. So I'm really excited to shoot this video. It's a little bit of fun since we are in New Zealand and we're in level four lockdown because of COVID. So a little fun activity. So to start, my mom has already made the dough, which is what we make the dumplings in. So you put the filling in the dough. Uh, you want to make the dough a little bit earlier in time, so my mum's made it earlier in the day, combining plain flour and water together. You want to let it sit for a while. Um, you don't want it to be too hard, you want it to be quite soft, but my mum's been doing it for so long she kind of knows the texture. But you can kind of tell by looking at it, it's really smooth. And once you've kneaded it, make sure that it's all combined, smooth nice uh, in the consistency that you want. You let it sit for a couple hours uh, while you make the filling. And so today we're making vegetarian dumplings. So the filling is really made of mushrooms, uh, fungus, there's a soy uh, substitute meat that we put in and um, Chinese cabbage and just a bunch of other things like you can really put whatever you want into a dumpling but these are some mushrooms that go into it if you can see uh, they were dried mushrooms and you soak them in the water for a little bit and then they get all moist like this so you can chop them up and um, mix it all into the dumpling you can also use a variety of mushrooms there's so many different mushrooms they go really well with vegetarian noodles I mean not vegetarian noodles <laughs> vegetarian dumplings as well as uh, vermicelli, which is the rice noodles, the really thin rice noodles. Adds a little bit of texture to the dumpling. Uh, it's really tasty dumpling. But it just depends. Some things that you put into a dumpling might make it harder to combine. And then when you cook it, it sometimes falls apart. So really, it comes down to trial and error. My mom's been trying a lot of different dumplings. Vegetarian dumplings are actually quite hard to make uh, because the the filling of dumplings are of vegetarian dumplings are quite watery like vegetables and stuff like that whereas meat sticks together uh, the most traditional form of dumpling is a pork dumpling pork and chives pork and cabbage just whatever pork you want um, there's beef dumplings there's egg dumplings you can even put nuts inside them it's uh, very popular it's, it's a really great meal and it's really good to make a variety of dumplings um, but today we are going to stick to my favorite which is the vegetarian dumplings and I just love it so much so once you've chosen which vegetables you want to use and you have cut them all up into little pieces and combined them you want to put them all on a pan and cook them a little bit with oil but you don't want to overcook them because they are still going to be cooked when you boil them or steam them or fry them or however you want to cook them so you just want to put them on the pan you can combine some oyster sauce some sesame oil and soy sauce um, and whatever other sauce or seasoning that you want uh, for your desired taste but we just used sesame oil soy sauce and oyster sauce. So now that the filling is made and the dough is made, it is about time to start making the dumplings. That is where the magic happens, the technique, special technique my mom's going to teach us. 
The kneading process is beginning. Leave this to the expert. <laughs> Not expert. So you make it like this, into this kind of shape. This long type of shape. Huh. Like a sausage. <laughs> like a sausage. <laughs> you want to rip off little pieces at a time so that they're little nodules. <laughs> Because that is what you're going to roll the little base for the dumplings. So we're starting to make little balls with the dough that we've ripped off. My mom is massaging them in her hands and then she's going to make little balls to prepare for when we use the roller to roll the base. So now the rolling begins. This is the part that I really don't know if I could do. I've never tried. But my mum always does it. She learned from her mum. This is what they look like. You need to keep it thin on the outside and then a little bit thicker in the inside because the thin edges are gonna close together to seal the dumpling and then the middle is what the stuffing goes inside. So you want it to be solid. to make the first dumplings. My mom is going to teach me. Make something in the middle, make it together. No, so you get hand. some stuffing. Yeah. You put it in the middle. Is that enough? Yeah. Firm. Okay. Don't want to be too little and just so hold tight, see? Mm -hmm. Then you put two sides. Hold put together this like this. Together. If you're a beginner, you can just go this way like a triangle. Mm -hmm. See? And make it sealed. Okay, and okay, so like a butterfly. There. Put it together. Yeah, this is the one. This, because it's very edge, very thin. If you thick, make it too thick, it's not good. Flour. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, here you go. The cooking is about to begin. All you need is a pot like this with some water in it. Get it to boiling, put the dumplings inside. Once it's boiling, you get a cup of cold water, put it in the pot, wait till it boils again, get another cup of cold water, put it in the pot, wait till it boils again, and then the dumplings should be ready to go. You don't obviously eat them in the water, so you want to strain the water away. And then the dumplings are ready to go. Delicious. So here goes the taste test. I'm gonna put some of the sauce on a plate. Gotta get the chopsticks. Grab one of these. Dip it in. It's kind of hot, so we'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, having some technical difficulties here. really good. Yep. Did a good job. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to enjoy the rest of these dumplings. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content. If not, thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good to film. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>